This is a posterior dissection and it's highlighting the uh, gluteal region. We've removed the superficial fascia and the uh, underlying fat. This is the midline along this blue towel and then we see the coccyx here. We see the posterior superior iliac spine here and then as an additional bony landmark, the iliac crest is here. Again, this is the midline lumbosacral region with the intact thoracolumbar fascia and specifically its posterior lamina. Uh, laterally, we see the exposed external abdominal oblique muscle. Again, the gluteus maximus with sacral attachments, iliac attachments, um, and then running along its superior and inferior border uh, out laterally toward the iliotibial tract. We've highlighted uh, some of the regional cutaneous nerves uh, that involve the gluteal region. And to highlight those, we'll begin with the superior cluneal nerves. Here are two examples. The superior cluneal nerves are derived from the uh, dorsal rami of L1, 2, and 3. We can see them coursing over the iliac crest and then down onto the surface of the gluteus maximus muscle. More medially and emanating out of the first three sacral uh, dorsal foramina, we see the middle cluneal nerves. And the middle cluneal nerves, uh, as alluded to, arise from the dorsal rami of S1, 2, and 3 and also run out over the gluteus maximus surface. Finally, we see uh, two branches uh, that are cutaneous and uh, derived from the inferior gluteal nerve, and this was recently reported from our lab. The uh, inferior cluneals are not shown in this specimen, but would have uh, curved around the inferior edge of gluteus maximus. As additional uh, nerves near the gluteal region, we see branches, posterior cutaneous branches, and these arise uh, in the lower half of the spine from the lateral branches of the dorsal rami. So posterior cutaneous nerves, superior cluneal nerves, middle cluneal nerves, inferior cluneal nerves, and replace inferior cluneal nerves with cutaneous branches of the inferior gluteal nerve.